Ooh. That. <laughs> that is a cat suit. You know, <laughs> I'm not sure I ever went back here. Or it, maybe as a kid, I didn't really, like, notice what that is or think of what that is. But that is 100% a cat suit. Alex, could you explain what we're supposed to do with a chest full of dresses? What a pretty dress. Luna, why don't you try it on real quick? I think you look great. I don't know, no. I think it's a bit too much for me. You're not... Are we not going to say anything about the cat suit? Really? Everybody's just going to ignore the cat suit? Okay. Okay, fine. Look at all this makeup. It's like the circus came to town. Lunar, are you sure you don't need any extra lipstick? No, I can't use it without permission. That would be the same as stealing. And besides, it's not my shade. <laughs> I'm more into neutrals. What are you doing backstage? This area is meant only for performers. <clears throat> yes, I'm a performer. I sing here when our star gets a day off. One of these days, I'll be the star, and I'm going to enjoy every bloody second of my fame. Can we keep the cat suit, please? I want the cat suit. <laughs> this is a bunch of crud. Crud, I say. This guy has won every single hand. Either he's Jean or he's the luckiest dog I've ever had the misfortune of playing cards with. Do I get to play cards? Oh, it's fucking Brett. Here we go, boys! Yeehaw! It looks like I beat y'all again! <laughs> Let me tell y'all, it's hard to make winning look this easy. Yeah, of course it is, Brett. Oh, welcome to the Seagull Tavern, <laughs> the home of the finest ale, freshest food, and friendliest folk in Marimbia. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. What's that? How can I run this kind of business under Master Mel's rule? Yes, that's Brett, the gambler. I can run this business because of Master Mel. He protects every man's right to be drunk and sexist. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> what? Wait a minute. <laughs> he protects every man's right to be drunk and sexist. <clears throat> All right. I think we should go meet this uh, uh, Master Mel. That was a <laughs> that was a bold accusation. This guy coming through, old man. Lovely scent, by the way. Is that? Ooh, the cheap whiskey. <laughs> Good one, though. Sir, you'll catch a cold if you sleep out here. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> this is a city of freedom. Uh, I, I can do what I want. Stop, pretty girls. Drink till I can't see straight. You name it. <laughs> I love this place. <coughs> it feels weird doing a hiccup like that. Huh. <coughs> hmm. Did it sound like a hiccup? <laughs> or a hick? <clears throat> it's kind of hard for me to tell with the headset on. One of Muribia's most wonderful conveniences is its sewer system. I'll take indoors over outhouse any day, you know. But I hear rumors that the waste has attracted vile creatures. Do you think it's true? Should we just break into everybody's houses and go exploring everything? <laughs> there are a ton of houses. Okay, I guess we will. <clears throat> you just want to make me talk more. Ma Master Mal used to wield a huge axe with only one hand. It was very impressive, to say the least. They say he was absolutely fearless on the field of battle. 
Great story, old man. Get the fuck out the way. Get out the way. This is my house. Never mind, there's nothing in here. <clears throat> A huge axe with one hand, so the other was free to stroke himself. I mean, grab bitches. I mean, Rebia attracts traders from around the world. They flock here to buy and sell their wares, ranging from common to extremely rare. <clears throat> Is that right? I wonder if we can find a nice present for your parents, Alex. She's definitely acting like a girlfriend. That sounds like something a girlfriend would say. Oh, we should stop and get a souvenir for your parents, honey. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> what kind of statues are these? <clears throat> See, I, I always hate huge towns like this because I always have the problem of how do I start exploring. I can't tell if this is a guy or a girl. I'm assuming it's a guy from Ponytail. A large ship from Moribia signed a contract with the city of Vane to transport their magicians. They call in the wind spirit to move the boat and the water spirit to guide them. They've sailed for years using these wondrous means. <clears throat> Cause like I'm super OD OCD about this, <clears throat> doing things in like an organized pattern. If I don't, it drives me insane until it's done. There's absolutely nothing in here. What about this one? A book? Nope. Ooh, a chest. And it's locked. How do we get into chests? I legitimately don't remember. <clears throat> I basically don't remember any of this game, honestly. I just remember, like, the general outline and basically the main characters. Have you. <clears throat> Man. There's too many women in this town. <clears throat> Have you heard of Fane? My brother is studying magic up there. I want him to come back home. You'll have to study magic to become a dragon master, Alex. Okay, cool. Awesome. I already know magic, Luna. Didn't you see my sword dance? <clears throat> I know you can unlock them later in the game. I just don't remember how. I travel from my village to Moribia once a month to do some shopping. Have you come here to shop too? Actually, no. Well, if you have money with you, be careful. There are some seedy types around here. That's why I recommend Moribian Express Traveler's Checks. Don't leave home without them. Thanks. Dross the jeweler isn't from Moribia, He's, but he set up a shop here nonetheless. I don't think he's a very reputable guy. In fact, in all honesty, I think he's a crook. <laughs> They're quite the opposite of reput reputable. The next time someone has trouble with him, I think Master Mel will take care of it. Huh? If you know what I mean. Is, Ram <clears throat> Is Ramus going to be okay? I'm worried about him. No, he's not. Ramus is a fucking loser. He's definitely gonna get swindled and conned. If you're going on an adventure, you're gonna need solid armor. Now what can I help you with? Solid armor? Huh? 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 <coughs> so we get three defense from that. Two defense from that. Or four from that. <clears throat> The helmet is definitely the better price wise.
Listen up, you can't underestimate the value of a good piece of armor. Remember that. <clears throat> if I remember right. It's weird that I remember this, but I am 99% sure, certain that this is the store Remus went to to sell the diamond. I'm 99% sure. <clears throat> I'm not entirely sure why I remember, <clears throat> but I think I do. I guess it is a pretty unique building. I heard a lot of bad things about this place, but I decided to come check it out for myself. And you know, the owner does seem a little shady. Those fucking dogs outside are gonna drive me insane if they don't stop. But maybe I'm just being paranoid. <clears throat> Hi there, please be patient with me. It's my first day on the job, and I just moved here from safe. Hey, it's the girl that was on the boat and in safe. Talking about having a job. I'm really overwhelmed. <clears throat> Under the table, <laughs> tips and tactics for avoiding income taxes. Never take no for an answer. How to persuade anyone to buy anything. Swindle and scams and suckers. The history of the con artist. Hmm. Nothing suspicious about this shop, is it? Random open chests. Some very uh, <clears throat> upstanding book selections. Did Raymond see these books? I don't think we should try to sell the diamond here. Also, I was definitely right. <clears throat> Welcome to my store! <laughs> Whether you're looking for glass beads or stunning diamonds, you'll find them here! <laughs> Hello there, young man! Are you shopping for a present for a lady friend? Like the one right next to you? Of course you are! A handsome lad like you must have plenty of ladies! So tell me what kind of a budget you're on, and I'll tell you why you need to increase it. <laughs> what a salesman. We didn't come here to shop. We came here to sell you our dragon uh, diamond. Um, Luna, you look pale again. Are you sure you feel okay? I'm fine now. I just don't like him. I'm also nervous about how much we'll get for the diamond, that's all. Hey Alex, I'm talking to this guy about buying the diamond. He's trying to lowball us on the price, but don't worry. If I can negotiate with Quark, I can negotiate with anybody. <laughs> Why don't you go visit Master Mel while I close the deal? And don't forget about Nash on Block Rose Street. <clears throat> I feel like my voice for Ramus is annoying, which is the whole purpose of it. I hope it's annoying. I really hope it annoys you, because it's supposed to. There you are, foul monster! I, the mighty Hellmail, will punch your lights out! Ouch! What are you doing? I'm not a monster, but I'm gonna bite your little... <laughs> Don't be silly, doll. No. He's just a cute little boy. Oh yeah, nothing cuter than a fish-shaped bruise on your tummy. I am Dragon Master Dying. Taste the cold steel on my blade. Ow! Hey, didn't your mom ever teach you not to run with sharp objects? You'll put your eye out. <laughs> <clears throat> We're playing the four heroes, but we don't have a galleon. Will you be galleon for us? Sorry, kid. Alex only plays as Dragon Master Dying. Wow, way to wrap me out, no. I don't play that kind of games. It's a dog! Puppy! I can't talk to the puppy. Red, white, blue, and black. There are, these are the four dragons, the legendary protectors of goddess Althena. But a legend is all I believe it to be, a fairy tale made up to placate the masses. 
It's not make-believe. We met with the white dragon at Caldor Isle. Oh, really? Did you say hi to the two fairy while you were there? <laughs> Supposed to be annoying, because he's annoying. I think it suits him. I really do. He, he just looks like the whiny, annoying brat type. I want to see a dragon, but my mom and dad said there aren't any. Well, they're wrong, aren't they? I know in my heart that dragons are real. You're right, they do exist. Really? Are you sure? Of course, we met with Quirk the White Dragon. <coughs> I knew it! Yay! Will you take me to meet Quirk someday? Pretty please? <coughs> My little girl keeps rambling on about wanting to see a dragon. I tell her they don't exist, but what if they do? It's too terrible to even think about. Dragons might not be mean, you know. Quirk was just an old pervert that wanted panties, so... Dog, get out the way. Dog, 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 dog. Thank you. Thank you, dog. <laughs>